Hey guys, today I wanted to show you the proper way to mount and dismount your horse. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and like our video for more weekly horse videos. So to get started, I first wanted to show you how to mount up using a mounting block. Mounting blocks are great to use because number one, if you have a huge horse and you're short, makes it easier for you to get on them and secondly pulling yourself up from the ground onto your horse can cause strain on your horse's back so a mounting block is a way to kind of take that strain away and mount up a lot easier so before you even get on your horse the first thing you're gonna want to do is check your girth and also roll down your stirrups okay so I check my girth first before I get on just to make sure it's tight enough to hold my saddle in place the last thing I want is for me to go to get on my horse and my saddle slips sideways. Or maybe I'm cantering along and uh oh, suddenly I'm getting wobbly. So I'm gonna check my girth, make sure I can fit four fingers comfortably between the horse and the girth, and that is the perfect tightness. I'm gonna unroll my stirrups. That way when I go to swing on, I don't have to fumble with anything. I can just get on the horse and now we're ready to go. So when you go to use the mounting block, you're gonna wanna line your horse up um, just so about the stirrup falls and about the center of the mounting block so you can stand and have the room you need to get on. So traditionally, we get on our horses on the left side. This just dates back to the cavalry days. The cavalry soldiers would get on the left side of the horse just because they had their swords and their weaponry and it was easier for them. So ideally, you'll be able to get on your horse from both the left side and the right side. Sometimes you get in situations where the only way to get on your horse is by the right side. Um, I used to fox hunt a lot and we'd sometimes be on really steep hills and little cliffs and the only way I could get on my horse is if I got on them the right side. So it's a great thing to know and practice. Today I'm gonna get on the left side and show you how it's done. Okay, so once I'm on my mounting block, the first thing I'm going to do is take the reins in my left hand. And this isn't very important because if you just drop your reins and you get on your horse and you're just holding onto your saddle, your horse could take off and you have no way of stopping them. And if you're on the mounting block, it's also just a nice thing to have so you can control your horse if they try to walk off or move around, you got the reins. So when you go to get on your horse, you want to make sure you're facing your horse directly. You're going to be standing behind the front leg and then I'm going to take my left foot and put it in the stirrup here. So when you put your foot on the stirrup you want to make sure you're putting it on the ball of your foot and that way your foot can slip out if it needs to and it's just easier to keep your heels down like that. Okay so I got my left foot in the stirrup, I got my left hand holding my reins. What I like to do, I like to just grab the horse's mane, this doesn't hurt them at all. I'm going to take my right hand and just touch the flap of the other side of my saddle. So then I'm going to stand up in my left stirrup swing my right leg over and then sit down gently on my horse. The first thing a lot of people focus on when getting on their horse is to get that right foot in the stirrup. And so their horse can be walking off and they're trying to get the foot in the stirrup and it's just a little chaotic. So before you go to put your foot in the other stirrup, just sit, make sure your horse is standing calmly and quietly and then you can reach down and slip your foot in. You know, you may think you can slip your foot in the stirrup, but then you're fumbling around like this trying to find it, right? So the best way to do this is just to reach down, get it with your hand and then put it on the ball of your foot like that. If you're wiggling your foot, you're basically telling your horse to walk off. So to save yourself from that trouble, it's easier just to reach down and get the stirrup yourself and put your foot in it. And just to show you what it looks like from the other side of the horse, Here's a little clip. Now I'm gonna show you how to mount your horse from the ground. But it's important that whenever possible to use a mounting block because it puts less strain on your horse's back. So getting on your horse from the ground is basically just like getting on your horse using a mounting block. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my reins with my left hand just like I did with the mounting block. I'm gonna stand facing my horse put my left foot in the stirrup. I'm gonna put my right hand on the other side of the cantle of my saddle to just help pull myself up. I'm gonna kick off, stand in my stirrup, sit down gently, there you go. So one tip, if you have a really tall horse, one thing you can do is lengthen your stirrup and that way it's easier for you to get your foot in the stirrup and get on over and once you're back on your horse, you can shorten your stirrup back to where it needs to be. Now that I've had a good ride, it's time to dismount the horse. So imagine dismounting is basically just mounting and rewind. So it'll just start with me taking my foot out of the right stirrup. I'm gonna hold my reins, grab some mane, 
put my right hand on the, the flap of my saddle. I'm gonna stand up in this left stirrup, swing my leg over. When I get to here, I'm gonna take my left stirrup out and then drop to the ground, pushing myself away so I don't kick the horse or run into him or fall under him if I were to fall. It's always important to take the left foot out of the stirrup before you get off. If you were to leave your foot in there when you dismount, you can accidentally swing under the horse or you can land and your foot can get caught in the stirrup and the horse bolts forward and you're just automatically going to fall back. So always take this foot out just for safety and it makes it a lot easier on everyone. So when you're dismounting, one thing you want to avoid is swinging your leg over the horse's neck instead of over their back. So just for example, I used to do this and then one time I was getting off the horse and the horse spooked at something and bolted off and I just rolled right off the back of them because I was leaning back, pushing my leg over their neck. <laughs> so you always just want to dismount swinging your leg over the back of the horse and not their neck. So now I'm going to talk about a couple common problems that people have when it comes to mounting their horse. A lot of people can't even get on their horse because their horse doesn't like to stand at the mounting block. So if my horse is walking off at the mounting block and I can't get on them, the first thing I'm going to do is immediately make them do groundwork around the mounting block. And this is just going to communicate to them that it's going to be more work for them to walk off rather than just stand still as I mount. The next problem that a lot of riders face is that their horse will walk off as soon as they sit down in the saddle. So if this is your horse, one quick fix you can do, take your reins, reach your hand down to the middle of your rein, and then bring your horse's head to your hip. This is called a one rein stop, and it just tells your horse that they need to come to a halt. So one more common problem that people have when they go to mount their horse is that they grab their saddle and use it to pull themselves on. Well, this may actually cause your saddle to slip and tilt, and it's gonna put a lot of strain on your horse's back. So, that's why I recommend either grabbing their mane or just using your one hand to grab the saddle rather than grabbing the front and the back and yanking on it. Lastly, just a few tips to the beginners out there. Um, if you are uncomfortable mounting a horse, always have someone with you to hold the horse or just be there to help you and supervise you and walk you through the process. There's a lot of moving parts when it comes to getting on your horse. It can be easy to get them all confused. And so that's why it's just nice to have someone there when you're getting on. Another very important tip is to always wear your safety helmet, whether you're on a horse, whether you're getting on a horse. Accidents can happen even when you're mounting up. People can fall off. I've fallen off trying to get on a horse before. I've fallen off trying to get off a horse before. So it's just always important to have your safety helmet on um, when you plan on riding or getting on your horse. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video for more weekly horse videos.